Now we're gonna see what's inside my makeup bag. A gosh primer, moisturizer. This is probably the best ever foundation. My eyeliner, she's a cosmetics lipstick. My contour kit. What you're gonna see next is you're gonna see how I created this look. Okay, we are about to start the makeup. I've already moisturized my face. Okay, why moisturizers are important before you apply foundation is because when you apply foundation on dry skin, uh, later on as, as time passes, your face or your makeup will look cakey. So to avoid that, you have to moisturize your face first. So moisturizer done. Next will be primer. I'm gonna apply primer here. Why primer is important? That's actually to take care of your face. To take care of your skin. And the primer that I'm using is from Gosh. It adapts your skin color. Meaning, you will see now. I'll show you all. Can you see the color is changing? So sometimes I only use primer and just go up. I try not to come closer to the camera, yeah? Because it looks very scary. Okay. Primer done. Can you see? The marks here has got lightened already because of the primer. That's because it's chameleon primer. So it tries to adapt to our skin color. Okay, after the primer, it's my foundation. Oh, okay, my foundation is almost finishing. So we just use straight from here. This is my first YouTube video and I'm freaking out. I don't know what is the do's and don'ts. I don't know how much of mistakes I'm going to get when I'm editing the video. But we all are going to learn, okay? Then in 10 years time, I'll make video on how to make your first YouTube video. Whoa! Okay, and I don't use beauty blenders, I just use my fingers. This gave me more confidence than the beauty blenders. Oh wait, I don't use beauty blender for foundations, okay? For my concealer, I do la. Okay. This is the amount of foundation I use. I don't use much foundation. I don't change, I don't try to change my skin color. I just try to um, make it look very natural so this is it this is the foundation and next we'll use concealer i'm using age rewind eraser dark circle concealer okay and this is my kutti beauty blender mm -hmm. try to pull it down So sometimes what I do is I just use primer and only concealers. Done. For me, this is good enough. Okay, I don't really cover up everything. I just leave it a bit natural. You know, this kind of thing. Okay. Next would be loose powder. More than compact powder, I love loose powder. Yes, because it looks very natural. It gives a very natural look. It looks like it gives a very like skin tone kind of makeup. Compact powder sometimes it it's very compact. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking. Compact powder is very compact. That is the purpose of it, but I don't like that purpose, so I don't use compact powder. Okay. 
Okay, so loose powder done. Next would be eyeshadow, gosh eyeshadow, and I'm gonna use this shade. That's the only shade I use, as I told y'all earlier. And I don't do this two tone, three tones, no. I only do one tone, usually. It can be for a wedding, it can be for and an interview, it can be for a YouTube video, it's only one tone. Only because it gives its natural look. Okay, now you can see, it's a very natural brown kind of shade. And uh, I'm only using one tone here. Now I'm going to apply the next one. So, both the eye, eyeshadow done. Okay, so the next one is will be eyeliner. Um, you can choose either you want to wear eyeliner or you don't want to. I'm going to wear eyeliner today because you're making a YouTube video. So, I just want to add as much as I can. But usually, I just sometimes just don't use eyeliner. I will just use mascara. That's good enough. Or when I have my eyelash, lashes extension on, I don't use eyeliner at all. So, eyeliner it is. So how many of you pull your skin to wear eyeliner? <laughs> Tell me the truth. I know most of us do this, but real professional makeup artists or whoever they are, they don't usually do that. They do it properly. One side eyeliner done. I'm gonna do the other side. Eyeliner is done for both my eyes and this is going to be a tip if you want your eyeliner to look like really black what you have to do is use a kajal on your upper lid meaning pull your skin and do this it's good it will it will give you a different uh, look I'm using boom, boom Bastic Crazy Volume Mascara. I love this mascara because it's not waterproof. I don't fancy uh, these waterproof mascaras because it's very difficult to remove. So when you remove, you really have to like you know you have to rub it. So there's no safe. For your lashes so i try to love my lashes i don't do that unless we are going for movies like moona you know you're gonna cry then you should use waterproof mascaras so mascara done on my upper eyelashes now is the lower lash And another tip is you shouldn't like you know when you when you close your mascaras you shouldn't straight put it in you should twist it in twist it and then lock it so that there will be no air going in when when you straight push it in I don't know lah this is what I heard huh when you straight push it in uh, your mascaras dry faster so that's another tip okay. So eyes done, this is my eye makeup and now it's going to be blushes and highlighter. Highlighters are my favourite. Okay, this is blusher. I'm using Catty Doll. Catty Doll Nefertiti Contour Kit. Okay. Blusher I usually wear a little bit. No. Not much. I try to blend so it looks like naturally I'm blushed. And highlighter, okay. This brush is very um, 
very interesting and very 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 friendly to me because it's fluffy like this and you can make it you can use it for your highlighter as well so I do this for my highlighters and then here and then what you do is you blend it so it doesn't look like you pop one highlighter is there I don't like it that way lah. but you can also do that no wrongs, no mistakes but I just try to make it as natural as possible and I usually highlight my nose here and here mainly here and here and then you just blend it can you see? okay so blush it done half my makeup is done now left with only lipstick I'm gonna use She's a Cosmetics lipstick I am sorry I forgot the shade I will I will put the shade below at the description why I love this shade is because it's very natural it gives a very natural feel so another tip is you shouldn't do you shouldn't rub your lip like you shouldn't do that for your lipsticks you should do in a sense only then it will it, you, you like you stamp your lipstick rubbing it over is uh, not a good idea because the color when you when you apply it you apply it evenly so when you rub it you are going to like make it uneven so we want it to be stamped do that so that's it completed this is my makeup look this is my everyday makeup look all kind of occasion all kind of event this is the makeup that i use it's just that i change my lipstick often like maybe i use red lipstick purple lipstick pink and then new colors this is the uh, difference i make and if you want you can add maybe like gold dust or a gold liner on your eye you can make your eye look more stronger or you make your lips stronger i prefer making my lips stronger because i don't really know how to apply eyeshadows like two colors three colors mixture i don't i don't really uh, know how to do that so i play with this you know some of us we just don't have that skills so i'm one of them so i try to do this and i hope you'll like it Hope you like how I did my makeup and you can do this in less than 15 minutes. So if you think you like it, please do like this video and comment how much you like it. And if you think I need to improve or if you want to give me suggestions on my next videos or if you think I did any makeup crime, then please do comment on the comment box. And most importantly, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Till we meet again, bye bye.